Hi, welcome to this lightning talk titled Pre-Workshop Team Meetups, How to Set Up for Success. My name is Ben Chupasa. I'm currently the Economics and Data Librarian with the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, United States of America. So here is the agenda for this lightning talk. I'll first define and introduce the purpose of pre-workshop meetups, then talk about how to ensure successful and productive meetings, what happens in the actual meetings, common agenda items, and then end with key takeaways. So what I'd like to talk to you about today are pre-workshop meetings, especially for hosts putting together self-organized workshops. A reminder that the Carpentries Handbook states as one key component of organizing or leading a workshop involves meetups with the instructors and or helpers. These kinds of meetings are really important for setting the stage for logistics and expectations. It's also the opportunity to build rapport with your collaborators. So here's how to ensure that these meetings are efficient, effective, and worthwhile for all parties involved. First step of the host should be to create the agenda, prioritize the topics to be discussed so that the most important ones are listed first. Consider questions like what problems does this team need to discuss solutions for? What ideas do the members of this team need to bring forth? What issues need to be raised or information needs to be shared? To make the best use of people's valuable time, prioritize items that are best dealt with via a meeting versus items that are purely informational. A lot of times informational inf um, agenda items can just be communicated by email. Send an agenda at least one business day before the meeting so participants can prepare. In the actual meeting, designate a note taker at the beginning or perhaps even before the meeting if possible. Begin the meeting with a brief overview of the objectives. If your group has created a set of meeting norms, review those before moving on to the first agenda item. Be clear about the purpose of each discussion or agenda item. Is it to reach a consensus or is it to get as many ideas out there before one person ultimately makes a decision? So here's a list of key agenda items that are common for planning meetups. I want to emphasize that this is not comprehensive. You may or may not include these items or maybe even have more depending on the context you're working under. So if you're working with co-instructors and helpers who are new to the carpentries, it might be a good idea to explain the classroom dynamic. You know, what, um, does that entail, um, you know, the dynamics of folks bringing their own laptops, the usage of sticky notes, the role of helpers roaming around the classroom space. Might be worth also asking folks to skim parts of the instructor trainer curriculum. Specifically, I highlight these two episodes in particular, preparing to teach and working with your team. Talk about teaching responsibilities, um, if this has not yet been established, perhaps this can be done over email if you're already working with folks who are familiar with the lesson. For Carpentry's workshops, a friendly reminder that a single instructor usually teaches for a half day stretch, um, two to three hours typically, but you can alternate more frequently if need be. Talk about the flow of the workshop, you know, the general gist of the schedule, how assessment will be handled and so forth. Talk about high probability activities, recognizing that when teaching carpentries, we can and should teach much less material in order to best meet learning outcomes while being mindful of time limitations. But there might be instances where we have activities or challenges that we really want to prioritize and introduce learners to. So make sure that you communicate these expectations. Broadly speaking, if the host or other folks in the room are familiar with the lesson, allow space to discuss recurring issues or stumbling points. So here are some key takeaways. Plan ahead, send an agenda list and if applicable, assign tasks even before the meeting. When creating an agenda list, prioritize tasks that can best be accomplished in a meeting versus email communication. A lot of information, um, can be shared through email. So prioritize agenda items that involve conversation, the asking of questions and decision making. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is to also remember to follow up on any action items after the meeting. Lastly, don't forget about the workshop checklist. 
in the Carpentries Handbook. And I provided um, this tiny URL if you're following along with me. So this should be your initial go-to resource to help determine your meeting agenda. And also broadly speaking, it provides that bird's eye view on what needs to get done before teaching happens. Thank you very much for your time.